Hi everyone, today I'm starting a series on brushless motor control and in this first video we're going to be talking about the six step commutation pattern which is used in brushless DC control. So you may have noticed that brushless motors have three wires and unlike a DC motor cannot be spun with a battery alone. Instead they need their coils energized in a certain sequence that produces the rotation and in this video I'll show you how to do that with an Arduino and what other componentry you will need. Let's go over the circuitry. This little purple board is a three-phase inverter. It has six MOSFETs and they are wired up like this in three half bridges. Whenever a top transistor is turned on it will connect that output to positive supply rail and when a bottom transistor is turned on it will connect that output to ground. You'll need some kind of a gate driver for the high side MOSFETs like a bootstrap circuit. For the low side MOSFETs the gate can be controlled directly by the 5 volt Arduino pins. If we look at our circuit we'll see it's three pairs of transistors if a top transistor is ever on at the same time as the one below it, it'll just be a short circuit known as a shoot through, which will either damage a transistor, a battery, a motor, or maybe all three. Anyway, we want to avoid that condition, so we will develop our pattern such that no transistor pair is ever both on at the same time. And what that means is we move from left to right and alternate which transistor we turn on. Now this pattern can be produced using a few different methods in the code, but a common approach is to just use a lookup table because it's very quick and we can save processing time. Okay, before we look at the commutation table, let's get a plan for the program. Our first step is to commutate. That means move the motor to the next position or activate the next row in the lookup table. Next, we'll just delay and then decrease the delay time so that the next commutation happens quicker. This will cause the motor speed to gradually ramp up. Okay, here's my commutation table. Now because of the bootstrap circuitry on my high side FETs, their logic needs to be inverted. So a zero in a high side FET position means on. The way I have it wired, the first bit is low A and then high A and then low B, high B, low C, high C. Obviously the disadvantage with this approach is that it's hard to look at the table and immediately know what's going on, especially with my inverted logic. Next, let's set up some variables for timing. T will be the variable that changes, and we're going to initialize it to about 500 milliseconds and decrease that to 5 milliseconds, which will cause the motor to increase in speed. During this setup, we use the data direction registers to make sure that all of the pins are outputs and then we assign a special value to port B which will turn the high side FETs off remember they're inverted and also the low side FETs. This is a safety so that when everything powers up all the FETs are off. Inside the loop we execute our three steps. We first grab a row from the lookup table using this incrementing counter and we make sure that it will reset back to zero and then all at once we access the register port B which will change digital I.O. 8 to 13 in one step and then we check to see if we're at our final time if not decrease that time and then go ahead and delay so let's upload this to the Arduino and plug in our motor and watch it do the sixth step Notice how when the motor is slow, the transitions are choppy with lots of oscillation. However, once it builds up enough speed, 
the momentum carries it through to the next step with a smooth transition. The reason I made this video is to show people that although brushless motor control is a huge topic, all you need to get started is a couple MOSFETs and an old hard drive motor. Thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoyed my video. Bye bye